Hi guys, Lindsay Wellington here from Colorado with uh, some thoughts on Mike Kelly. It's pretty impossible for me to speak about an artist in terms of their life's work without first learning about that artist's life. I believe no master is separate from the fruits of his passion, so to speak, from his mind made manifest in some sort of physicality. And that being said, Mike Kelly's death by suicide in 2012 is extremely heartbreaking. Robin Williams comes to mind as a parallel to Kelly and lasting legacy in the reach of his craft, for in my research I uncovered the fact that Mike Kelly has touched a vast number of people. Um, it seems that some men leave this world in such a way so as to detach themselves from their art, so that their art might live on by itself and on its own terms. And as those terms matter personally and intimately to each individual touched by the various pieces. Unlike Robin Williams' movements, however, and apart from a very small number of paintings interned at the Museum of Contemporary Art in L.A., Kelly's psychology does not speak to me at all, and I cannot recommend him to anyone personally. Nevertheless, in full circle now, I've been deeply moved by many of our classmates' video posts on the contrary, and feel that at the very least, the fact that Kelly fearlessly dedicated himself to a vast research and production of art throughout the entirety of his life, in more forms and genres than many other artists have ever been capable of mastering, qualifies him for my posthumous promotion and support. Every life matters, and Mike Kelly let his voice be heard in this world to the very end. There were many who needed to hear him, and might live on today, even if he does not, on account of his work alone. And I hope he knows that somehow, and I hope he rests in peace. Thanks.